uh, downtown today because a uh, really good friend of ours slash client of ours, I've been their family photographer for many, many years. And um, she texted me a couple weeks ago and she's like, how about me back in the dress, get Chris in a tux and we go play downtown. And I'm like, I'm game. So today is that day. So if you've been following me at all on my channel, you know I like to photograph at the end of the day because basically it is the most beautiful light you're gonna have that last hour and a half of sunlight. You know, the colors are good. Uh, if you hear in New Orleans in the summer and stuff when it's blazing hot, end of the day usually helps a little bit. But the, the, the lighting scenario is my main focus. You know, when we have overcast days, I'm really happy actually, because as beautiful as that sun can be when it's out with those blue skies, um, the sun is not my main light and I don't want it in their face. I actually use the sun behind them or on the side as a kicker light. It's not my main light. So look, as I drive around here, you know, um, they're gonna start opening the city up on stage one and everybody's very happy to start something, you know? And uh, the one thing that I'm very concerned about is this was an opportunity to take care of some things downtown. And, you know, the amount of homeless people that are scattered all over the place and they wait for you on every corner and they pedal and they ask you for things, it's, it's awkward, you know, and I live here and it's awkward. Can you imagine somebody visiting? It's awkward. Um, our mayor wants to put um, spots in between the two parishes, like Jefferson Parish in New Orleans, put cops right there and then ask people, do they know we're still in a lockdown back and forth? And I'm sitting there going, well, wait a second. <laughs> These are working people, okay? You've got people already in the city making number two in your city and we haven't fixed anything about that yet it's sad sad that's something you don't see every day as a natural light photographer this makes me very happy clouds texture in the sky that's right This is Megan. This is Chris. <laughs> we're just talking about how we're walking towards Bourbon Street, and I'm like, you notice the smell? She's like, what smell? I went, exactly. This is the cleanest it's been since Katrina, actually. <laughs> These guys are awesome, man. They stopped for us. They were like, stop, stop. I'm like, you don't have to. That's cool. That's cool. Wherever you are in your, your hometown, last 30 minutes of light, go find the best spot for you to be with a view how the sun will work with you, not against you, which is why I like this time of day. But these two, man, Chris over here wasn't so into pictures for his, his wedding day, but he is a freaking model today, man. Model. You know, if I had one request for our local government, is as you walk around downtown New Orleans, we have such a beautiful city. It is so clean, there's no smells, you know? I mean, yeah, the peddlers are out doing their thing, but we have a beautiful city. And if they could set a new tone, this is your reset button, man. Set a new tone and a new standard for what happens downtown you know you can have all the people without being disgusting you know you can and that's that's what's a shame I don't want it to go back 100% too quick because I'm, I'm loving my city like this it's so nice to uh, walk around and not, and not smell urine in the streets 
even on Bourbon Street. It's absolutely amazing the experience you can have right now. There's families riding their bikes around the French Quarter. You know, you can't do that when it's busy and there's a ton of people just trying to get your money. 